Hello, this is Mrs Spellman. Welcome to GCSE Computer Science. Let's get started. So today we are working on computer networks, connections and protocols. It is an orange topic. And within that, we're looking at the subtopic types of network. So if you pause the video and take stock of where your knowledge is right now. And once you're happy you've done that, if you fill out the slip in your green book. Now we're ready to learn. So before we look at types of network, we really need to think about what we mean by a computer network. And a computer network is computers and devices linked together to enable communication and sharing of resources. So if we've got computers connected together, well, they can exchange emails. So that's one way they can communicate. Also, if there is a printer connected to a network, well then all the users of the network can share that device. A network can be wired or wireless, or in fact a bit of both. So a local area network then is confined to one building or one site, is confined to a small geographical area. It's typically owned by the organisation and maintained by the organisation. An example of this would be a home network or a small business. So the characteristics of a local area network then are that it is a network of computers limited to one building or site. The organisation usually owns all the equipment. On the other hand, a wide area network can span a large geographical area. We're talking greater than one mile. The internet, in fact, is an example of a wide area network. So an organization typically doesn't own all of the equipment on the wide area network. The parts that are linking the different sites are usually leased from a third party. And that means that that third party also maintains that part of the network. So the characteristics then of a wide area network are, well, it's a network of computers located over a large geographical area. And the organisation usually leases some of the equipment from a telecoms company. Now let's look at the two side by side. So LAN, small geographical area, whereas a WAN covers a wide or a large geographical area. It is important in the exam that you say large geographical area. So LAN, the organization usually owns and maintains all the network equipment, whereas with a WAN, part of that is leased from a telecoms company and therefore the telecoms company maintains that. Example of a LAN could be a small business or a home network and examples of a WAN include large businesses or the internet. So here is a summary of what we have learned and this would be good to take down as notes so we might want to pause the video and do that right now but we've learned that a network is computers and devices linked together to enable communication and sharing of resources. LAN covers a small geographical area, WAN covers a large geographical area. A LAN is usually owned and maintained by the organisation whereas parts of the WAN are owned and maintained by a third party. You might want to pause the video and take stock of where your knowledge is now on types of network. And once you're happy that you've done that, if you fill in the slip in your green book. And that's it for types of network. I hope that you have made progress in this lesson.